Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Yeah, well, we, our problems now, we had some flooding was a couple weeks ago, but now our problems are the heat. Of course, we've got the heat advisories up from Chesapeake westward up to Surrey County, northeast North Carolina. And, you know, these locations where you're not under the heat advisory, you're still going to be very hot and humid. Uh, the advisory does go from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And the advisories may get expanded northward later today. Check wavy.com for updates. We'll have them. Now here's your heat forecast. Highs in the low to mid 90s today. Heat index up to 105. Might see a few thunderstorms out there to try and cool down some folks, but it's not going to cool down everybody. Tomorrow, Wednesday, chance of rain, only 10%, so the temperatures come up to the mid-90s. Both days, heat index up to 107. Three more days, and then finally, here's Thursday. Looks a lot better. Highs in the upper 80s, heat index 92. We'll get some relief from the heat, but it's going to hit a couple more days. We just got to hang in there. Now, we got high pressure off to our southeast, and it looks like the map's the same, but there's one difference. It's this, this cold front. It's to the north of D.C. right now. It's trying to drop south, and it'll probably stall out just south of D.C. If that happens, it's going to kick off some thunderstorms, which will try and move in, but the front itself is not coming through. Not yet. Again, that's not happening until later this week. So uh, it, it hinges off of that rain. Now, at the moment, the dew points, they're high. They're in the mid-70s throughout. Uh, not as high in New York, but it's still very humid there, and this continues for the next couple of days. So right now, temps are in the 80s. We've got uh, high, thin clouds out there, 80s across the area, except a few 70s, uh, like Chesapeake and Suffolk right now. And downtown Portsmouth, we are in the 80s. We're at 80 degrees. Now, here's Super Doppler 10. Things all quiet uh, for now. And we're going to see a few thunderstorms this afternoon. I've got the chance of rain at 30 to 40%. But between now and noon, things are quiet. This is future track. It's our forecast. We hit the afternoon hours. 1, 2 o'clock, things may pop. But if they don't, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, a little better chance. Scattered showers and storms. Notice not everybody sees them. I got the chance of rain at 40%. And we could see some spots of heavy rain out there as well. So this goes up through 5 o'clock. 6.30, though, they move inland. And they settle down a little bit, too. So we go into the later evening hours. They do move inland, but then it looks like they push back east a little bit. So if you miss out in the afternoon rain, maybe you'll get a few shower storms tonight around 11 o'clock or midnight. After that, though, they quiet down. And tomorrow, we're only going to see partly cloudy skies. Just a stray shower storm in the region. There isn't going to be that much, and that's why the temperatures come up a little bit. That front's going to lift north of D.C. again tomorrow, and we're going to heat up. We'll have more of a southwest wind. Now, today's numbers, 93 Nags Head, 94 Elizabeth City, and mid-90s in Eaton and Ahoskie. Winds out of the west, 5 to 10. We get a few shower storms. The heat index up to 107 in these cities. 93 in Virginia Beach for a temperature, 93 Norfolk, Portsmouth, but mid-90s in Chesapeake, Suffolk, Franklin, and again, a few showers and storms here. On the peninsula, temps in the low 90s, uh, 93 in Newport News, 92 in Hampton, 95, though, in Williamsburg. Heat index up to 106, probably higher, though, in Williamsburg. It'll probably be about 108, 109. And then uh, 90 degrees in Melfa, 92 in Gloucester. We're going to try and cool things down here. Maybe the front will make it to Chincoteague, Irvington. We'll see. But right now, I still think it's going to be pretty um, hot and humid. Nothing, not compared to yesterday, though. Surf one to two feet in the beach forecast. Low threat for rip currents. And there's your seven-day forecast. Again, highs in the mid-90s Tuesday, Wednesday. Finally get to the 80s on Thursday, but there will be a higher chance of rain both Thursday and Friday. Saturday, maybe a few isolated showers and storms. But at least the temperatures are in the 80s.